Hello everyone and welcome to the session. Today we will discuss a topic how to disable text indexing on a table in ServiceNow. Before we deep dive into the steps, let's first understand what text indexing is and why it matters in a ServiceNow instance. In ServiceNow, text indexing refers to the process of making large or unstructured text fields searchable and quickly retrievable through the global search. This helps the search engine locate and return relevant results with enhanced speed and accuracy. For example, let's try searching a name through the global search and let's see whether we get the results or not. Let's suppose the name is Robin Diago and press enter. See, we are getting the results. Now, Let's try searching through the email ID in case we don't know the name of the person. And press enter. See, again we got the results. But how all of this is possible? This is all possible because of text indexing. By creating a searchable index, ServiceNow ensures that fields with large amount of text like notes, comments, or descriptions can be efficiently searched using full text search functionality. This improves user experience by delivering faster and more relevant search results, especially when dealing with large data sets. Now, the question is, how do we disable text indexing? There are two ways to disable text indexing in ServiceNow. Number one is disabling text indexing on the entire table and number two is disabling text indexing on a specific field of a particular table. First of all, let's discuss how to disable text indexing on the entire table. Before disabling text indexing on the entire table level, it's important to check whether the table follows a table per hierarchy structure. For example, we see here in the sysdb object. Here in the task table, we can see the extension model is table per hierarchy. What does that mean? This means that the task table is a parent table for many tables like incident underscore task, problem, change underscore request, sc underscore requests, etc, etc. Disabling indexing on a task table will affect all these child tables which is not at all recommended as it could impact search functionality across the instance. But now for understanding, let's assume a table called incident table and it is a standalone table and we want to disable text indexing on the incident table. For this, we have to go to the home page and in the application navigator, we have to search for system definition and here we can see the dictionary module. We have to click it. Now in the table, we have to search for the incident table and in the type, we have to search for collection and press enter. Here we can see the table incident with the type collection. We can open this by clicking on it. Here in the attributes tab, we have to click on the new button to enter the new attribute. Here in attributes, we can click on the no text index and then select the value as true and then click on the submit button. See, here we can confirm that the no text index attribute has been successfully applied with the value as true. From now on, this table will no longer be indexed for full text search, although other tables in the hierarchy, if any, will remain unaffected. This is how we disable text indexing on the entire table in ServiceNow. Now, the second thing that we have to learn is how to disable text indexing on a specific field on a particular table. Let's say you only want to disable text indexing on a particular field like the name field in the sysuser table. But before this, we have to verify two things. Number one, 
First of all, we should confirm that the field in which we are disabling text indexing is not at all needed for global search. Only then we should disable text indexing on that particular field. Otherwise, it will create an issue. Number two is whether the field on which we have to disable text indexing is present in the parent table or not. If the field is present in the parent level, we have to disable text indexing at the parent level, not on the child table. But if it is not present, we can disable that directly into the child table. If we go into the tables and columns module and look at the tables present here, for example, in the incident table, we can see that the number has an I symbol and here it is mentioned that this is task. What does this indicate? This indicates that the number field is present into the task table, which is the parent table of the incident table. So we have to disable text indexing on the number field on the task table rather than disabling it on the incident table. Then only it will come into effect. So we got the understanding. Now let's see how to disable text indexing on a particular field. Again, we have to go to the ServiceNow dashboard and into the application navigator, we have to search again for the system definition and open the dictionary module. Here in the table, we can write the table name as sys underscore user and the column name as name and press enter. See, we got this. Now we have to open it by clicking on it. See, we got the dictionary entry record of the sys user table with the column label as name. Now we have to scroll down and then we have to see on the attributes tab and click on a new button. Again, we have to enter the attribute as no text index and enter the value as true. And then press the submit button. That's it. We have now disabled text indexing on the specific name field on the sys user table. From now, any name of any user that is searched to the global search will does not present any results. This is what disabling text indexing does. To verify this, let's try searching a name through the global search. Let's go onto the dashboard again and let's try searching a name called Ayush. Girl and press enter. See, we didn't get any results. Why? Because we have disabled text indexing on the name field in the sys user table. And that's how you can disable text indexing either on an entire table or just a specific field in ServiceNow. This feature is particularly useful when you want to improve performance, reduce unnecessary indexing or protect sensitive information from being searchable. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining this session. I hope you find it informative and easy to follow.